What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be working on the wiring for Plain Jane. I know everybody loves working on wiring, but unfortunately it is a necessary evil if you're building a car. So I gotta peel through like six different harnesses to figure out what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna use. So um, check it out. So I've got the third gen wire harness here. This has got um, engine electronics. ECU wires. Um, basically, I'm gonna have to snip all these back as far back as possible in order to utilize all the plugs, if that's what I'm gonna do. I also have the third gen harness here. Some more pieces. Um, looks like it goes to like some things I'm not gonna need. This is fuse panel power. This here looks like lighting, which I know I'm not gonna need. Um, but some of these things I may need. So I may pull that out. This is gonna be second gen harness, fuse panel, relay box. I am going to use this for the lighting system and the ignition and the wiper, basically the body. It's gonna control the body. Um, and then uh, this here is the second gen harness, which looks like um, the lighting harness up front which I'm gonna have to use that. So lighting harness, interior fuel pump, um, turn signals, all that type of harness, I'm gonna use all for the second gen. I'm gonna completely molest the third gen harness so I can use what I need to wire in the standalone. And then for the cooling system, for the cooling system I'm just gonna use this, um, this Mark II bit, it's the easiest way to go in my opinion. It's basically, you get a power and a ground, your thermal switch, your relay, and then your fan. And these can be cut out because these go to the air conditioner, so those will be taken out too. But this is the simplest way to go for any cooling system in a Volkswagen, in my opinion. It's just a nice little Mark II clip and just uh, wire it in. But uh, that's kind of the idea. So all those wires, I'm gonna have to start modifying, digging out, decide for what I'm not gonna use. That way I can get this thing going. A middle of the year goal to get this thing going. It's not looking so good right now. <laughs> we'll see though, because that is the goal. Um, so that's about it. I am going to uh, get back to work, start chopping up some wires. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so I am balls deep in this wire harness here. I have gotten a decent amount of stuff taken out already. Um, so I'm kind of known for going a little crazy with the wire harness and taking a little too much out, but there ain't gonna be much in this car, so whatever I take out that I need, I'll just put back in. Uh, but by, I have basically just gone through the Bentley and um, figured out what relays I'm not going to be using and um, pulled them all out here. I'll pull the fuses out that I won't be needing either. Uh, so basically at this point, I have cut out everything I know I'm not using in the harness. Uh, everything I'm not sure of. Um, I'm just kind of leaving, but since I'm taking all of the relays that I'm not using, I'm kind of going into the back side here and just kind of popping all these out uh, for the terminals that aren't in use. So uh, it seems to be pretty easy enough. So basically what I'm doing is I got a, um, a welding tip cleaner and I mean, I'm sure you can use a, I'm sure you can use a, a deep pinning tool, which would be a lot easier. But basically, I'm just sticking them in here, and then these are just kind of pulling right out the back side. So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of going through everything and taking out what I don't need, and then I'm just going to trace back through here and remove everything. And then once I get everything together, uh, everything works. So, uh, basically, I'm going to have lights, wipers, and that's about it.
what in the holy fucking bullshit is going on here? This is my tail light bulb tray, my Euro bulb tray. And this is the plug. And it's got all kinds of fucking, what, what is this? Cut, cut, masking tape. Cut, cut. All that cut. We're just gonna run one wire. God, what a nightmare. So now I have sorted through all the wiring and I think I've deleted just about everything that I don't want, which is basically all of the HVAC stuff, all of the computer stuff, the engine management stuff. All I'm running at this point is going to be headlights, taillights, wipers, and brake lights, so on and so forth. So just all the lights and the wipers, that's really all I'm gonna need. So I think I've sorted everything else out. Um, I've got it kind of mocked up in here. I've got a, my switch is all plugged in. I've got all my ignition stuff plugged in. Um, so I've even got the windshield wiper motor sitting back here. So I can see if that works with the switch. Just wanna make sure everything works uh, before I start putting it back in the car and then lengthening the harness so I can, I can tuck it. I'm actually gonna tuck it through the frame rail and bring it out of the front so it'll be kind of hidden. So, um, and in the event that nothing, uh, that something goes wrong, got a fire extinguisher on hand. So um, let's hook it up to this battery charger and see what happens. Put on 40 amps and see what happens. Nothing smoking yet. Turn the lights on. Woo! We got lights, blinkers. Yeah, I'm missing a bulb or a bad bulb over here. But not only that, but wipers too. Yeah, yeah. Huh, now start putting this stuff together. And that is it. Um, ton of work went into that. Bunch of time, bunch of tedious work. But you know what? It's going to be well worth it in the end. So um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you next time.